we are back and the next thing we want to do is set up automatic updates on Ubuntu 22.04. If you're not already on this post, just go to bizenosa.com slash Ubuntu 22 and then you can go to step 11, set up automatic updates. So let's get started with this. I'm going to log into my Vultra server. I'm already logged in. This is where we stopped. This is the last thing we did. So let me just do control X to get out of this file. Control L. So just go to this post and then come to step 11. Let's just make sure that we don't have any updates. Okay, we don't have any updates. Control L to clear the screen and then I will install an intended upgrades package. Now this is the one that will help us to automatically update our Ubuntu server or Debian server. You can follow along with the Debian server as well. I'm going to paste that in there. We want to install this package. It's already installed on Debian, probably not, but on Ubuntu it's already installed. And then we need to enable automatic updates. So what this will do, it will enable automatic updates. Let's enable automatic updates. So this is just going to configure it with low priority. And then it will enable unattended upgrades. This is important because if you don't do this, there are certain files that you will not generate. Once you do this, it's going to generate certain files that will be edited later on, that can be edited later on if you so need to. This will turn on the automatic update, upgrade, the PKG started area. Okay, so this is a problem with my website, but don't worry. The issue is this priority. This has double iPhones. These are double iPhones. They're being merged into one which shouldn't be the case. So when you get there, make sure you put two hyphens for priority. Enter. And that's going to ask you if you want to enable this. You can read that if you want to automatically download and install stable updates. Yes, press enter. That will enable the updates. So just remember, when you get here, these are two hyphens uh, on Debian. Make sure you do that because there's a package that I try to, you'll try to install, but will not be there. And I also added that there for you if you're following along on Debian. And then the next thing we need to confirm update notifier. Update notifier common, this will enable you to reboot. If the, you need the system to automatically reboot, you need this package. So let's see if it is still available on Ubuntu. Okay, on Ubuntu, it's already installed. On Debian, you're probably going to miss it, but they're going to give you another name that you can install. Just install the other one that they give you. The next step is to configure uh, what you need updated. So this is a file that we need to go into. We're going to configure what you need updated. So let's just open this in. You can open it using Nano. If you don't use Vim, just change Vim to Nano. If you're on Debian, Make sure that you do sudo apt install vim because maybe it doesn't come with vim it comes with vi but you want to use vim first sudo vi if you don't know how to use vim i do have a tutorial for that let's search on another window you can just search for vim just search for vim on my website you should find it there's a video and you can follow the video while you read all this okay so let's go back this file is going to tell the system which packages to update or which specific items to update or what to do after updates so an attended update you can see it's going to update the distro is going to update security if there's any security related items it will update that these are just comments and then it will also update apps security those are for specific apps and then you'll also update distro apps if there's any kind of security that needs to be updated for specific packages it will be done and then of course you need to enable you need to enable this this is the one that will update your packages so if you have any packages update installed on your ubuntu then enable this and it is going to automatically update those as well and then 
this you can ignore this too unless you have specific packages that that you want updated based on this then you can check that out if you don't know what this means just google them by this make sure you enable that remove the comments and then something else that is important maybe you're running uh, a certain php version and you don't want php to be updated you can exclude certain packages so inside of vim if you want to edit anything you just press i i you're now in insert mode in vim you don't want to update certain packages maybe you don't want to update mariah db add the quotation marks add the double quotes for your packages so maybe the next one you don't want to be updated php and then also you don't want a package a package that starts with ng maybe something like that even php maybe you want a package you don't want to update any php packages so maybe start with that php and something like that and then also you can also look at that used to explicitly define the end of a package name without the dot libc would match all of them so you use this to uh, explicitly match define the end of a package name so if the package name is mariadb maybe you can add the dollar sign add the dollar sign to explicitly mark its end that way it won't match anything else maybe mariadb sub packages other packages that start with mariadb so that's something that you can do here you can uh, you can blacklist certain packages so that so that they don't get up updated or maybe you don't you don't want packages that start with the linux also to not be updated you can you can change that of course just like with everything else on this on this make sure that you end it with a colon with a semicolon so ensure you end everything with a semicolon okay let's scroll down and see what else is here unattended upgrade dev release auto now if you want to automatically update the ubuntu development release of course that's something that you should you should probably put at false on a production server put that at false let's see what else is here okay now there are certain things here if you want to if you want to receive emails an attended upgrade mail you can receive emails so that one you've looked at an attended auto fix interrupt forget that install updates an attended upgrade install on shutdown false so you can read that to see the options that you have you can send email so an attended upgrade mail and then the email address let me just copy that from here i know i must have an email address sample there so an attended mail you put the mail inside of the quotation marks there so of course first of all you'd need to you need to uncomment it and then you put your mail there so make sure this is a working mail and you need to and your server needs to have a way for sending mail so you need to have maybe dovecot or exim installed so that your server can send mail you can use any address email there as long as your server can send mail then you can get the mail report here if you want uh, only to receive mail when there is an error or when there's an update you can use only on error or only on change on change or you can use always okay so if anything happens you'll receive the updates that is with always and then unattended upgrade remove unused kernel packages there so 
if you want to remove the packages that are outdated the kernel versions that are updated you can do that you can set that to true just and comment it the one that i'm looking for is automatically reboot this one so you can also set this on if you want to reboot your server after this automatic updates you can set that to false or true the package that we installed is a package that will help us with this so if you want to restart your server after the update you can do that app install update notifier yeah i hope you install that if you don't install this the reboot will not happen so let's come back here and I'm just going to do control X. Control X. Oh, not control X. We are not in nano. We are in we are in Vim. And then I'll press escape and then I'll do shift ZZ to save on Vim. There. And let's just check. So if we receive a feedback, then it means that our automatic updates for Ubuntu are turned on. There you go. So an attended upgrade there. It will check it every day. If you want it for every seven days, you can change that to seven. So that's pretty much how to enable automatic updates for Ubuntu 22.04. You can follow this to enable automatic updates for Debian 11 as well. Install. Now, if you want to use a control panel like Hestia, you can do that. Once you do all these steps, you can install your control panel. Just come here and go to the script generation page and then install it using that script. All right, so that's pretty much it for this Ubuntu 22.04 initial server setup. In this full video, I used Valtra. If you want to use a different VPS, you can do so. If you want to get $100 credit from Valtra or from Linode, buttons are up here that's pretty much it for this ubuntu initial server setup make sure you watch all the sections and you follow along carefully and if you do have any questions just ask me and i will assist